Hi friends, today we are going to see a problem in an IIR filter which occurs due to finite word length effects. This problem only uh, dominates in IIR filter. It do not have any effect on FIR filter. Let us see why this is so. The problem that is arising is called as a limit cycle oscillations. A limit cycle oscillations occurs in IIR due to the presence of feedback. Now what is this limit cycle oscillations? We know that whenever there is oscillations or if I say that a device is an oscillator, okay, that means it produces oscillation, then the device is unstable. Every oscillator is an unstable device. So whenever my IIR filter runs into a stable mode, it will start producing oscillations. Now why this happens? This basically happens because when I design an IIR filter, okay, we keep the precision of the IIR filter to be infinite. That means I can represent a number using infinite number of bits. But in actual practice, this is not so. So when we limit the number of bits, to fit in the given resistor length, okay, or given word length, the oscillate, the IIR filter start behaving like an oscillator. And we get a problem called as limit cycle oscillations. Now, this limit cycle oscillations are of larger amplitude and lower amplitude. So, limit cycle oscillations are of two types. One we called as a larger amplitude and another will called as a smaller amplitude. Larger amplitude oscillator or oscillations are called as overflow limit cycle and smaller amplitude oscillator is called as a granular limit cycle oscillator. So we have two types of limit cycle oscillations. One we called as granular and the second one we called as overflow. Now, how do we get a granular type of an, uh, what, what is a granular type of limit cycle oscillations and what are the overflow type of an oscillation that we will see. Let us consider a system. Okay, so I consider a system with let's say order 1. So let us consider a system with order 1. So let us take this system. This is first order system. Now what I am going to do is my output will be nothing but y of n will be equal to now y of n is coming one component is x of n but it is not alone x of n but it is added with something correct. So y over here <coughs> If you see carefully at the output of the summator, you get x of n plus v of n, correct? And what is v of n? v of n, if you go back and trace, it is alpha, that is a multiplying gain, multiplied to a delay. And who is being delayed? The y of n is being delayed. So v of n is actually nothing but alpha into y of n minus 1 that is delayed correct so there is a product of two numbers correct so if i have a b bit alpha and if i have a b bit uh, y of n then the product might run to be two b bits so what i need to do i need to round them off or truncate them so in general let us take the problem on rounding because we never truncate the systems so let us consider a rounding error or a rounding problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take y of n, I'm going to multiply by alpha and when I multiply by alpha, after that I will round the number to fit in the given word uh, resistor length and then my new v of n will be now v cap of n. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 
my input y of n multiply delayed ones multiply by alpha and then that product which gives me v of n is quantized or rounded okay using some function which we called q and now we get new function or a new variable v cap of n now my output is no more y of n but it's the actual practical output y cap of n which is not same as that of y of n now due to this y uh, q what has happened is now my y cap of n is equal to let's say it will look like y cap of n will be equal to x of n plus quantize variable of a alpha into y cap of n minus 1 correct now this operation rounding operation is non-linear operation so what i am going to bring in a linear filter i when i quantized or rounded off i got non-linearities and these non-linearities might convert my system to an unstable mode and it will produce oscillations that is called as limit cycle oscillations so these non-linearities in this system Okay, we will analyze that whether it is a granular or an overflow. Now, due to product, okay, due to the product of two numbers, I will always get a granular noise. Okay, now the granular type of uh, oscillations are, let us analyze them, how, how they look like. Okay, let us say that my y cap of n is now equal to x of n plus v cap of n n whereas v cap of n is nothing but quantized alpha y cap of n minus 1 correct now let us consider some input okay let us consider a input to be take the input to be x of n as 0 0.1101 okay we will not take 1011 because i have done all the calculation based on this uh, to prove that how granular noise affects okay so now we have taken some x of n and i will consider some alpha let's say alpha to be 0 0.1011 okay and we will uh, go on evaluating the value of y of y cap of n for several input several values of n okay so what is going to happen is if let's say i'm considering alpha to be first positive this is positive 0.6 okay if you calculate this this is plus 0.6 okay and x of n is a constant value okay now what i'm going to do is uh, let's say i first evaluate that n is equal to 0 okay and my input that is x of 0 is 0 0.1101 that's all i am applying only for the first instant okay at n is equal to 0 my x of n is this my alpha is this then my alpha y cap of minus 1 because now n is 0 so n minus 1 will give me minus 1 let us condition let us consider that initially the filter is relaxed that means y of y cap of minus 1 is also equal to 0 okay so y cap of n minus uh, alpha into minus 1 becomes 0 and y cap of n is e or y cap of 0 becomes equals to okay uh, the, uh, the addition of this and this so addition of 0 plus any number is the number same so now becomes this is my y of 0 at n is equal to 1 if i say now x of 0 is 0 because i am applying input only at n is equal to 0 instant and i removed my input okay so i applied input only once and i removed my input now what should happen over the time 
the output should diminish correct why i am saying over time because now here we also have a feedback so feedback will provide me inputs okay and this will go on decreasing because there is no uh, component or there is no excitation to the system so with the time exponentially this will start decaying and after some time the system will relax or the output will go to zero but now what is happening let us see now because x of 0 is 0 okay alpha into y cap of now here n minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 we will get a y of 0 which is this number which comes as 0 point okay according to my calculation it is this is for n is equal to 1 0 0.100 it's a very huge number because of the product 1 triple 0 and 1 2 3 4 times 1 okay so if you can see that my initial numbers were 5 bit in resolution that means the resistor length that i have selected is a 5 bits okay 1 2 3 4 sorry 1 uh, 2 3 4 5 sorry uh, total 5 bits okay so a total of 5 bit number i have selected this is 2 raised to minus 4 and 1 bit from here so uh, b plus 1 is 5 bits okay so i am considering this to be 5 bits alpha is also 5 bits so of course the y uh, because the resistor length is 5 bits i will also consider that output is also 5 bits but the product now is of let's say how many bits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 bits so there are in all 9 bits what i need to do i need to round this off to a uh, 5 bits isn't it that is 1 2 3 4 5 bits correct so i need to actually understand that what is my one step resolution okay 2 raised to <coughs> minus 4 will be my resolution so after rounding which i am not going to perform over here after rounding the value comes as y cap of 1 will be equal to uh, 0 0.0 one one zero which is not at all zero in this way go on performing for various values of n and you will find that after n is equal to seven okay after n is equal to seven the output will stabilize to one and the uh, and the final output thereafter after n is equal to seven thereafter you will not get zero but thereafter your output will be somewhere around this is let's say at n is equal to 7 i'm directly showing n is equal to 7 you will get 1 and thereafter your output will be 1 with a step size of 1 so what is the period of this oscillation the period of this oscillation is 1 bit period okay n is equal to 8 9 10 11 and so on and so forth so when i'm considering a granular noise okay uh, and the coefficient is positive the error or the oscillation that i get is one bit period uh, uh, or we can say uh, the periodicity of that oscillation is one bit period okay it's one now let's say if you do the same homework for alpha is equal to minus 0.6 the same graph okay the same process the same uh, uh, the same system will behave in a very different manner and the different manner is like this it will stabilize after some time but now the periodicity is of two that means after two samples okay i'll get by my original sample so this is when alpha is negative that is the coefficient is negative and this is when alpha is positive okay so what we have seen that even though there is no input we get output okay and the output stabilizes to periodicity of 1 or periodicity of 2 depends on the value of alpha okay it never turns to 0 it continues in this sense it will have the constant amplitude but the amplitude will be lower that's why granular noises are also called as a low uh, amplitude noises the second noise that we have seen was or the second limit cycle that we have seen is called as an overflow 
limit cycle. The overflow limit cycle occurs when we are adding okay uh, b bit number and there is a overflow arising. If that happens, okay, there is a very serious issue happening in the uh, IIR filter. We should avoid uh, occurrence of uh, overflow in a filter because if that happens, we are really in a great trouble. Agreed. So in overflow uh, limit cycles, the amplitude of the oscillation goes very high. It's also a type of non-linearity because when all overflow occurs, we will again, uh, we will, we don't have any technique to round it off or trunk it. Okay. We cannot do any, anything. We are trapped. So to avoid overflow, we do scaling, which we call as dynamic range scaling. It can flatter the scaling or uh, dynamic range like anything. If you don't consider or if you don't worry about uh, the uh, overflow problems. So overflow problem runs the system into unstability and the IIR filter start producing uh, oscillations. So we have seen that in the limit cycle oscillation, okay, uh, the IIR filters start behaving like an oscillator An oscillator do not have any input. So without any input, we are getting some output, which we call as oscillations. So there are basic two types that we have seen. One is granular and one is overflow. The granular type of noise is or granular type of oscillations are lower amplitude, whereas overflow uh, type of an uh, overflow type of uh, uh, limit cycles are due to uh, are large amplitudes. Granular systems occurs due to uh, rounding off or bringing non-linearities uh, of the quantization in picture, whereas overflow uh, limit cycle occurs due to uh, overflow in the addition. We need to have a very good dynamic range for avoiding the overflow oscillations. I hope you have understood what you mean by limit cycle and how it arises and why it exhibits only in IIR systems. Thank you.